What's going on folks, my name is Josh and you're watching The Outdoor Dude. Today we've got another day of bank fishing and pressured locations. There's a bunch of cars here, commuter parking lot, right off the highway, super busy area, and we're gonna try to catch some fish. If this doesn't work out, I got a couple other spots. Let's get it. Bam! Look at that big mama jamma, folks. We're getting at it today, guys. Beautiful day cold front coming in tonight tomorrow today's going into 74 tomorrow is only going to be 44 45 i think so massive temperature change massive cold front coming in it's going to turn the fishing off or at least make things very difficult so i'm getting at it today gotta get while the getting's good and there are usually people here i like to try to come here during the week during work hours Hopefully there aren't people here, but today there's at least one. Very clear, clean, clean, clean. Looking like we're gonna have at least five, six feet of visibility. All right, guys. Those of you who frequent my channel might recognize this spot. This is a big old flat right here. Got some trunk rock on the edges. Undercut banks to the right, if you could get there on a boat. But right now we've got windblown banks, we got rocky riprap, and I'm thinking this might be a good time to target some pre-spawn smallmouth. Um, the ponds are right around 50. Talked to a guy that was on the lake last weekend, and the lake was right around 45. Shallows are at about 50, where the sun is warming things up. Guys, I got a spinnerbait tied on from yesterday when I was canal fishing. If you haven't seen that video yet, if that video's up, I'll put a link in the info card up to the right. You guys can check that video out. This is what it is, guys. Pressured fish in spots. These spots are pressured all night long by bullhead guys, catfish guys. There's a homeless, homeless population that likes to frequent the area. There's um, poachers really like to frequent the area. But let's see if we can get some fish, man. I'm just gonna crank the spinnerbait through the shallows right now, bounce it off the rocks, try to trigger a strike. A lot of times the smallmouth live up in these rocks. So just bank fishing 101, as always, guys. Reaction baits, cover ground, parallel the banks, and then fan cast everything in front of you. So this is what I'm gonna do until I hook up. Some rocks I want to target right there. Made it through those rocks pretty quick, guys. These dang new Merrells I'm wearing make me feel like a free runner. gentleman off to the right of me crank baiting I don't know if he's caught anything so I figure I'm gonna run the swim bait down these rocks run this rip rip like I said there's a giant goby population in here now and all of the game fish are feeding on them. Little green Ned rig. Should be nice and finessey. Look pretty tasty to them right now. All right guys, so it appears as if it's not working out. Maybe there's some fish in there, um, but I'm not willing to waste my time there all day long for one or two. I'd rather hop around and try to increase my chances. That's what this bank angling is all about, guys. Unless you're just in it for fun, just to waste some time, then have at it. But that's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to catch as many fish as I can and learn as much as I can while I'm out here. We came, walked all the way down, we fished all this, we crossed over here, fished this, crossed over here, fished this. Then we came over in here, fished that a little bit. I don't want to walk all the way down there because it just wasn't happening. All the same, all the conditions are the same over in these areas. So, except for this, this is a big flat, this is a lot deeper, bit, bunch of riprap. But this is all the same as this. 
So I'm not gonna waste my time there. We're gonna make this happen. We're gonna go to another spot, hopefully up the river, and we're gonna see how well we can do. If not, maybe I'm gonna hit the canal again, maybe out a pond. One way or another, guys, we're gonna catch a fish today, so come on along. Bye. Spot number two, this is a pretty sketchy spot. As you can see, there's a crap ton of cars here. My rods are falling out everywhere. This is a damn fishing spot. I don't know how this is gonna work. We're gonna find out, let's go. Whole mess of people here today. Ooh, I didn't realize there was a spot closer. I could have snuck in right in here. That would have been a way better spot for my car. Yeah, I'm moving the car. Ooh, there's an old timer sitting out near my spot. Hello. So I don't know how much water. It looks like there's a lot of water coming through here today. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get down where I caught all those fish in my last video when I was here. If you haven't seen that video, check the link up in the info card. I've never fished right here before. Usually there's people here. So this is a little bit of a treat to actually even just get to try it out. Everybody comes here and does the live bait thing. There's a bait shop right next to this joint. That's what everybody fishes. I come down here, throw around some tubes, Kytex. I clean up, usually. Oop, got one. Nope. Got a fish. There we go. I don't know what I got. There's pickerel in here. Yeah. Slime dart. I caught me a slime dart. Gotta let him tire himself out so he doesn't break me off. Because they will. And I had a feeling that's what this bad boy was going to be. Decent little pickerel here. These things have got some teeth on them. These are nasty buggers. Decent sized pickerel though. Nice fish. Let's let them go. Here you go. See you later, bud. You good? He's just chilling. He's all in shock. What the heck just happened? It's the one thing I've noticed about those when I catch those, they just kind of hang out for a minute after you put them back in the water. Like, what? They're all like in shock. You guys want to check your line, guys. This is all kinds of frayed right there by the knot. I'm going to retie. All right, guys, one fish. Slow roll that swim bait, see if we can get another one to bite. Hmm, little perch out in front of me. Right about the size of my swim bait. Oh. Got a fish. There's another. Slam darts all day. Man, they want that. They're feeding on bait fish. This thing, he took it head first. Wow. Another good fish, guys. Another good pickerel. Look at that big old belly. These things are feeding up, bloody tail, starting to spawn. That's what's happening. 
Let's let her go. There goes, there's another one. Got him. Oh, that was a big one. That was a big one. Way bigger. Got a 4.8 fat swing impact Kitek bluegill flash with a 5 op VMC quarter ounce belly weighted hook. Screw lock. <clears throat> Got him. Another fish. There it is. And it's been like maybe. 15 minutes, guys. Nail on these pickerel. Another good size pickerel. Another good size. She goes. We did okay there, we got three fish. It's pretty awesome, I'm stoked. But I still have some more time, so we're gonna make a spot change and come right back. But we are back, guys, in a little bit of a different setting, I know. But um, I didn't do an outro for that video, so I'm giving you guys one right now. I had a lot of fun catching those fish the other day. I was hopping around in a bunch of different spots, but it ended up paying off for me. And that's kind of what bank fishing around here can be like. Um, if you guys had a similar experience, let me know down in the comments. If you haven't done it already, guys, don't forget to subscribe right here. And if you want to see more videos like this, except where I might catch a bunch of smallmouth instead of pickerel, check out the video I got set up for you guys right here. I'll see you there. Bam!